I can tell you that, I mean, part of the thing that I would say that it's important with this and some other things is that younger people are in a different place. And that's a good thing. Um, independent living got started. There really wasn't, there wasn't accessible public transit. There was no right to, to, to have an accessible public. I started working at this center. I remember in 1990, a consumer of ours got kicked out of a restaurant because she was disabled and offending the other patrons. And it was legal to do that. Pretty recent. And um, so, I mean, you know, in the older days, and it's not that far off, sorry, 1990, whatever, but there was no right to ride on a plane, to enter a restaurant or a store, um, to get a job, um, and, and most states even still now, to get married, to own a home, to have and keep your own children and things like that and that's changed and things are a lot better now we the accessibility is bigger people are riding on planes and trains and you know getting jobs and stuff like that public education does work sometimes universities are more accessible in taking people with disabilities the image is much enhanced you can argue about it but you see people with disabilities in more positive images now and just see more disability being portrayed, good or bad. There's a lot of villains with disabilities still, but there's more positive stuff. And so because of that, maybe, and maybe it's because us old timers, you know, things were a lot tougher back in my day, by God, you know, yeah, we, it, but anyway, I mean, because of that, it, I think it's important to remember um, where this stuff got started, because the fact is it is pretty new and um, don't take it for granted because it could be taken away. In fact, things are being taken away and going backwards a little bit. There's a term called backlash. There's been books, other research around it. We're in a backlash kind of phase right now from the heyday of the ADA, the, the Air Carrier Access Act, um, lifts on buses and all those kinds of things. And we don't want the backlash to go too far. Because I can tell you, old timer, middle timer, young timer, certainly no one wants the bad old days to come back. And um, a lot of us certainly are glad for the success, but we have to work to maintain it and to keep moving ahead the way we need to. And that's why this kind of stuff is important to make sure people really do. It's not just something you heard or a myth, it's very real. Um, very real right now and, and things happen every day that threaten these liberties that maybe younger people gladly get to take for granted.